Welcome to the beginning of this epic series. I cannot wait to get and jump right into this game. Uh, surprisingly, this game did not have a midnight launch event. Uh, otherwise, I would have recorded it just like I did last time from uh, the previous game I just recently played. Uh, not Horizon, but it was one of my other playthroughs. I think it was the Pokemon Moon uh, midnight launch I ended up going to. Uh, when I got the poster and then some other stuff it came with. Also, uh, on a receipt, I ended up getting something, uh, some kind of DLC. I don't know what it is that it comes up with, but I didn't get like the special edition or anything like that. But uh, I have always loved this series. Mass Effect, I played um, all three games and uh, I still own them, but I'm excited to jump into this series and see what this game is about. Um, I end up not playing the. 10 hours that you get to play from if you are like a EA subscriber I think it is uh I think it was called you get to play the first 10 hours or at least 10 hours from the, uh, the game and uh, I heard some crazy things about the face animations I can't wait to see how those go <laughs> so that'll be funny to see some of the glitches and see what else the uh, you know funny things that happen throughout the playthrough but uh, I heard some mixed feelings about the game and those who played the game, uh, the first couple hours of the game, have said that the game is not that good. And uh, it's not better than the originals. But I'm going to be my own judge. I don't trust reviews anymore. Because I feel like they they favor a particular type of game, in my opinion. And I never, ever since I played one of the games that I, one of the JRPGs I played, RPG games I played from the past, from the PS3, ended up getting a score of a 3. And uh, from there, I just, I, I just no longer trust reviews and the opinions of other game review companies and uh, other gaming companies because I, I just decided to be, become my own judge and play games for myself and for fun and as long as the game's fun regardless of how it looks uh, the flaws or anything like that it can still shine it can still turn out to be good regardless of its graphics and all that stuff and uh, the fun factor is what makes a, a game stand out and become good because we play games to have fun and enjoy them but anyway, uh, I love this series. I'm, I can't wait to jump back in, in in this series. It's been so long. But I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And then I'm going to check out the bag uh, for you guys here. So I don't know what to expect. I don't look at any sort of spoilers, uh, trailers, or anything like that. But once they first showed it at this past E3, uh, I decided not to just look at anything else and I just decided to wait for the game to come out so I can experience it for my own for, experience it for myself and be my own judge. So it says, how far will you go? Chart your own course in a dangerous new galaxy as the Pathfinder. <clears throat> you will unravel the mysteries of the Andromeda galaxy and lead the search for humanity's new home. So explore a new galaxy, build your hero and fight for survival. So. That's basically it. But uh, unfortunately, I was hoping uh, to play as uh, Commander Shepard. I love him. He's one of my favorite characters throughout the uh, whole series and a couple of characters from the past. I would like to see some returning characters in this game. But um, I think there's going to be a, probably a whole brand new set of characters in this. But uh, let's see if there's anything inside the actual game case. So we got... It says the Mass Effect Andromeda Apex Headquarters Companion app. So, this little thing. We got this thing. I don't know what this is. <laughs> and then it says the Art of Mass Effect Andromeda. Get the hardcover book. It says Journey to a New Galaxy with Dark Horses, the Art of Mass Effect Andromeda. Featuring never before seen art of the wholly anticipated game's characters arsenal locations vehicles and more the gorgeous hardcover book is an essential addition to any gamers collection so we got that and then the Adromina initiative so it says welcome to the Adromina initiative you have been through countless days of training and preparation for this moment you have earned the right to be part of the biggest human explore exploration mission ever take undertaken to be a driving force in the evolution of humanity into a an intergalactic species. Now you will leave our home on Earth and embark on your journey to Andromeda with the hope of finding us a golden world in which we can all thrive. There may be dangers out there awaiting your, your arrival, but you have to be st steadfast 
in the face of difficulties. <laughs> For you could be the key to finding our oh, our golden world. You might even one day become a pathfinder. And then on the back. It says, thank you for joining us in the, the next chapter the next, the, of the Ma Ma Mass Effect saga. And speaking of that, uh, I heard the original makers of the game who originally made Mass Effect didn't make this game. So uh, probably a, a whole brand new team of people made this game. So, uh, curious to see how that's, how this turns out. We're excited to be on this, this journey with you as we explore the Andromeda Galaxy between our offices in Montreal, Edmonton, and Austin and hundreds of team members who have worked on this game. We have spent years creating a fresh start to the Mass Effect universe. We hope you love the game as much as we do and enjoy discovering this new galaxy. We thank, we thank you for your support and look forward to our new adventures together in Andromeda. So, the Mass Effect team, and then we got this little manual, this tiny manual, not even an instruction booklet. Look. It says manual available online. So, I don't even know. Nothing really special here. <laughs> Getting started with the PlayStation 4 and then, you know, some tips and if you need help and stuff. But, uh, I'm not going to show the little DLC code that I got. I don't know what else it, uh, it's going to come with. But, uh, that's basically it. But at least they added way more stuff than they usually do for these other games instead of just being empty on the inside. But look, I like the design, the art. Look at this. So to kind of see it. There's the game. I'm going to try to take it out and see what's on the back here. So that's pretty cool. At least they designed that. That looks pretty dope. But that's it for this unboxing from Mass Effect Andromeda. But again, uh, I don't know. Maybe the game wasn't uh, turned out to be as popular compared to Injustice and some other games coming up because they didn't do a midnight release for this game. But at least I got the game uh, a little bit early. So <laughs> I'm about to get ready to jump right in. And uh, I think my plan is I'll probably play a couple, uh, a little bit of the story and then I'll be checking out the multiplayer as well. And then I can probably do a a first impressions video and share my honest thoughts about the game and you know be honest as not and just be a, a fanboy and just say all oh, the games good and uh i don't know what people are talking about i'm gonna be straight up honest and talk about the game and discuss what i like about the game and probably try to compare it to the other games and see if it's any good and if i would actually recommend getting this game if you're probably on the you know if you're skeptical and on the fence and trying to uh, decide whether or not this game whether or not you should get this game so i'll definitely be doing that as well so that'll be my plans as far as this playthrough goes still have a lot of other playthroughs i need to work on like horizon and uh dream drop distance for kingdom hearts on well, ongoing series as well but uh hope you guys enjoyed this video uh hope you guys join me for the playthrough if you are a mass effect fan i'm excited and uh i can't wait to see what this game has to offer <laughs>